Uh, I tell people all the time because the big thing people says I don't want to spend money on advertising. I, I don't want to do advertising. First of all, <laughs> I'm not mad at you. So let's talk about what we can do for free. Yeah. Right. So I put together this thing because I wanted to answer that question. Mm -hmm. I have more free content yeah. than I do paid courses and all that. I'm not trying to sell you on, you know, Miracle Water. And I, I don't know what these people are selling, but they're selling some yeah. bull. And it's not doing nothing. So if you go to <laughs> thebusinessbully.com forward slash without paid ads. Yeah, yeah. The businessbully.com forward slash without paid ads. I'd spend about five minutes or so mm -hmm. breaking it down. Because if you can't break it down in five minutes, what you're doing is you're just spinning some mess, yeah. right? So I show you in five minutes what you need to do in order to drive traffic without paid ads, how to scale your business without paid ads, what it's going to take to get you to that first six figures without paid ads. And it's absolutely free. There's nothing mm -hmm. to buy. There's nothing for sale. So you can't say nobody told you. Yeah. But here's the catch it's going to require work mm. and i know some of y'all don't want to hear that but th there's no easy thing so that um again the businessbully.com forward slash without paid ads or you can also go to my instagram all that is there at the business bully you just said that it's going to require work mm -hmm. okay i was having a conversation with a home boy the other day about you know when folks ask me they like b how the hell did you grow your podcast <laughs> and i was like hey man it took a lot of goddamn work. How much work? How do you explain to people that the success that they want to obtain is on the other side of their work ethic? Because they've been okay. Be Come high. on with it. All right, I apologize in advance because I, I don't want you to be offended by what I'm about to say. Okay, but this generation. Everything from millennials on and, and, and quite a few Gen Xers. <laughs> Why you going to get the millennials in there, man? Let us slide. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not talking about the 1980 to 1990 millennials. Okay, okay. That's right? good. I, I'm in the 80s. Yeah. So I'm talking about 1990 on. Okay, okay. Here's we what can happened. give them hell. Because... The first half of millennials grew up without an internet. That's right. Right? So I'm a Gen Xer. So... I understand what it means to come home with, with, when the streetlights came on yeah. and, you know, you had to go out here and play because everything you wanted to do was outside. Like, you know, the, I, basketball, I saw the, basketball, and basketball and all that. You wanted to be where the people was. You was actually going for, you know, teams at your recreation center, all that. You know what happens now? What? Everybody makes the team. Doesn't matter your skill. You're yeah. on the team. Everybody goes for pizza, whether they win or lose, because it's how you play the game. Yeah, that's funny, because LeBron gets paid because he wins. Yeah. Steph Curry gets paid because he wins. Serena Williams gets paid because she wins. Yeah. Kanye gets paid because he wins. Yeah. Adidas had to go back to Kanye because he wins. Yeah. Y'all love talking about it's not how you win or lose. It's how you play the game. You play the game to win then. Yeah. It requires work. Work is not sexy. So if you're giving a 17th place trophy, it's a problem. I fired a young lady from my corporation because she told me, well, first, she was copy and pasting copy for clients All right, off now. of stuff she Googled. And I said, yeah, this isn't for you because you don't have the experience. She said, well, Mr. Anderson, I disagree. I have experience because I have a degree. I'm like, baby, I got five and I was your college professor. Oh. So... I'm going to need you to pipe down on that. But they have been convinced. <laughs> they have been convinced that your degree. They've been convinced that your degree is your is is your thing. Your degree is a license, bro. Like if you get a driver's license, are you ready to go up against Dale Earnhardt? You ready to get you ready to get in the car and, and drive up against Jimmy Johnson? You want You couldn't even take Danica Patrick home, boy. What is you talking about? You just got your license. That's not how that works. Your degree is a license I'm with you. to make money. It does not guarantee that you will make money. And that's the thing. So everybody is telling you you're great. You got a bunch of people out here. Listen, I'm not trying to be funny, but likes and shares ain't never paid my bills. Yeah. That, that's not how this works. Come on you don't now. get paid by likes and shares. Hell no. You get paid by views and time spent watching. Exactly. And advertisers saying, hey, this guy has an audience Come on. that will benefit from my product or service. Come so on. that solves the problem while I solve the problem using their advertising, either in the beginning, the middle, or the end of this program. That's right. That's how this works. The work works but the work isn't sexy because you've been sold you know business in a box you've been sold microwave you're gonna run the play y'all keep wanting a shortcut to success i Ooh. told you i started in 1987 i'm just now getting to a point where people are like yo i was in walmart the other day the guy comes up to me says hey are you dave anderson i said yeah he said oh my god bro i've been dying to meet you i'm like wow mm. not that that doesn't happen 
But when it happens, every time it hits different because it's always around a time where I'm like, you know what? They ain't trying like to it. hear me. Yeah. They want the gurus. They want the people to to wear the crowns and act like they, you know, that they're, they're holy and their spirits and yeah. they're divine and the aliens. But you was a car salesman last week, and then you did wake up now, and then you you did you did um, five links, and then you're doing your your your, your struggle plates and and your, and, and your non vibrational plates or whatever it is, and you're selling flat tummy tea, but you had a BBL and a daggone uh, you had lipo and you didn't you didn't had um, a tummy tuck and, and you didn't had a thigh lift and an ass lift and a tit lift and face lift and a brow lift. But you're telling people that they got to go work out. Whew. Because you want the shortcuts. Yeah. Yeah, you can lose some water weight. Yeah. But you ain't building no muscle. Come on now. And you, you listen, if you continue to lose water weight, you will be dehydrated. Well, we're dehydrated mm. on this quick hustle, run the play mentality. And that's the problem, bro. So that's what it is. You can't shortcut the work. And I, I'm not asking you. To, to, to be my client, I'm not asking you to come coach with me. I'm not asking you to put me on a stage so I can go speak to your audience. I am asking you to do your due diligence and realize Henry Ford worked. Mm -hmm. Byron Allen worked. Tyler Perry worked. Oprah Winfrey worked. Say what you want about Diddy. He worked. He gave them people his publishing back. So I got yeah. a lot of good things to say about Diddy yeah. now. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But it all requires work because people forget when that dude was an intern and was interning for Andre Harrell and had Jodeci in the projects, mm -hmm. you know, and Jodeci singing on Father MC's records. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And like, like we, we, we forget all of that because we focus on fur coats and bad bitches and yeah. you know, no, the work is still the work and the work ain't loud. Come and on. the work ain't flashy and the work ain't sexy and I don't give a damn how dope you are and how fly you are and how 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 beat your face is and how good your lace front is and you know how dope your six pack is and how how cool your G-Wagon is because everybody got to go get a G-Wagon because you can write that off yeah <laughs> you keep using TikTok as your financial guide <laughs> see how well that works <laughs> out for you um, when you do the work sooner or later you're going to catch it. One of the favorite things, and I'm, I'm going to shut up after this. Okay. One of the favorite things I ever saw was one of the final interviews uh, interviews George W. Bush gave. Mm. And this lady started running down everything. She said, hmm, well, first it was the dangling chads because of the election, right? Then there was 9-11. Then there was the war in Iraq. Then there was Katrina. All of these things, uh, how, when Kanye West says you don't care about black people, all these things happened on your watch. Do you think you'll be the most failed president in history? And instead of getting upset, George Bush sat back in his seat, cocked his head, and he smiled. And I'm paraphrasing, but what he said changed the course of my life forever. This is what this man said, Behi. Mm -hmm. He said, I promise you, history is going to be kinder to me than you're being right now. <laughs> I know that's right. I'm not working for you to love me right now. Yeah. I am not addicted to the drug that all of you have been taking. And I hate to break it to you. It's not crack. Mm. There's a new crack. What? It's called clout. Mm. And everybody wants to get their fix. Yeah. Everybody's fiending for that. I don't do this for clout. I do this because you have my people, bro. Yeah. And I want to reach my people because like you said, you said it. I didn't say it. You said everybody used to be an entrepreneur and then the Industrial Revolution came along. Yeah. And with the Industrial Revolution came Rockefeller who said, oh, um, I want a nation of workers. Yeah. I don't want a nation of thinkers. And that's why everything's set up like a factory. Yeah. And that's why it's continued to set up. That's why y'all so busy talking about your good job that only lasts you 18.1 months on average. Yeah. Ain't nobody retiring no more. Very few pensions exist. Very few unions exist. Shit. I don't know none of that shit exists. And man. show. Yeah. You know, so for me right now, bro, I think George W. Bush is right. Mm. I think it's about legacy. I think it's about when you look at it, because everybody's talking about the stimulus. You know who gave you your first stimulus checks? Bush. Bush. You know who got rid of those stimulus checks as soon as they got in office? Obama, Obama. and Biden. Do, do, do you see? So even if you don't like somebody, which is another thing, I don't do business based on my likes. Yeah. I do business on what's going to make the most financial windfall for me and the 300 people in my employ. Mm -hmm. I do it because my feelings have absolutely nothing to do with what is best for business. There's plenty of people I don't like that I work with. 
Mm-hmm. I want us to understand that it's not about emotions. It's about power. And until such time as you realize that your dollars are power, we love talking about that $2.3 trillion in buying power. Mm-hmm. And it's not buying power. It's spending power because some of that money, you'll blow off your rent to go see Beyonce. Mm. No diss to Beyonce. She's a great show. If you can, yeah. you can catch it, go yeah. catch it. Absolutely. Wear your silver, wear your heels, and mm-hmm. you know, go out and wear your costumes. But then come back and do the work. 